So in conclusion, so this is what it looks like. This bottle was actually full. <laughs> chocolate coated almonds so the almonds that I'm going to use today are some salted almonds and I'm going to use if you remember my chocolate syrup that I have I would put the link for this chocolate syrup in the cards above and also in the end screen so we're going to use my homemade chocolate syrup and some salted almonds you can use the unsalted ones but you would add a little sprinkling of salt in the mixture and to finish it off i'm thinking to just sprinkle some ice and sugar um so yeah let's get put these two ingredients together and make a nice little snack not so, not often i would indulge in sweet stuff because I'm really not a sweet stuff type of person but I really like salty stuff but not too much because at the end of the day I am on a healthier journey so I will try to control my salt intake so I don't have much of these salty stuff but if I have to choose between the salt and the sweet I would choose salt so let me stop rambling. Put these two ingredients together along with the ice and sugar. We're just going to use just to sprinkle and, and just to make it look a little pretty. On the three ingredients. All right, let's get putting these ingredients together. step by step what we just did again so in conclusion 
So this is what it looks like. This bottle was actually full. <laughs> so in conclusion, what we did was we took our salted almonds, placed it into my chocolate syrup, into a bag with some ice and sugar. That is optional. You could you don't need the ice and sugar, but just if you want to add an extra sweetness to it. So we placed it in a bag with some ice and sugar, and then we coat them slightly with that ice and sugar, place them in a pan, I'm placing it in my broiler for two minutes. The purpose of putting it in a broiler is basically just to release some of the natural oils that is in the nut. It is not ready to do anything else, and it gives it a really nice, nice flavor when you put it in the broiler for that two minutes. Don't leave it for too long because if you leave it in the broiler for too long, you might end up with almond bars and we're not looking for almond bars we don't, we're not looking for that we are looking for a hard something that's not what we want we just want a coating so it isn't a very thick coating of chocolate so it's more like so i think i would call this recipe more like a chocolate glaze almond because we, we don't want it too thick we don't want the chocolate coating too thick at the end of the day we're still trying to, to have this healthy balance in some of the things that we consume and but yet rather enjoyable so the light layer of this chocolate on it and with the powdered sugar perfect balance now if you want to tweak this a little bit and make it a little more thicker with the chocolate that's perfectly fine it's all up to you and what you would like to do but this recipe it was really enjoyable and really flavorful. I am telling you, toasting it in the broiler with the chocolate syrup coated on it, with that extra heat that wakes up that natural oil in a nut, really add a big difference with this. Thanks for watching.